Hey everyone, this is Jargus Gaming. Welcome back to Super Smash Bros. Melee. Last time, we got 100% of every single trophy. We can't get 100% of a trophy, either you have it or you don't. So this time, we're gonna show off what we haven't done, which is versus mode. And I mean, really show it off. Because there are some stages we really didn't get to talk about much during our main playthrough. I don't know what that was there, like half a hiccup? Now we use Young Link. We didn't use a whole lot of him. Now we don't need my human player. Yeah, why not Pikachu? For example, our past stage of Congo Jungle. I'm just waiting on you on this Sparkle Rat. Yeah, I'll take that hit. I mean, if we go up, it's... Whoa, that was a dangerous move, Pikachu. Not all that different from the N64 version. Okay, I thought I'd have gotten a little more vertical height in there. But yeah, it's a pretty accurate recreation of it. I'll be able for a little better graphics, but still. Oh, and we also saw Celebi next time. That was a nice treat. Yeah, I'm still riding off that high because... Come on. Is that Chansey again? Oh, wow, with that. I'd rather get a Goldeen and see one of those pop out. Swap so just gets in the way of fighting. For everybody. I guess if you place him just the right spot, he could make a good defensive wall. It was like on a flat stage. Because you didn't even try to dodge. You knew he was going to lose this. Come on. Whoa! That's more like it. Maybe use the Smash 4 where you get more aerial mobility. Or is it wrong? I don't know anymore. But I seriously did expect to come out of a stun of that much sooner. Now this rad just does not want to die. Until now. I right, see someone else we have not shown a lot of love. Just a game and watch. We hardly use this two-dimensional guy. Or his stage. Do you like some sausage? No, you would not. I should not be re referencing Freddy Got Finger because that is not that good a movie. I don't know why I'm thinking about that. Maybe because a nostalgia critic did it recently. You know, I remember it being sort of funny when I was like 15. But for the most part, it was just weird. Uh, seeing what it looks like now I'm older and I understand a little bit more of that adult humor. Holy crap, I'm getting my ass kicked. It's just a little uncomfortable because how weird it is. I guess I saw at the time where I could be somewhat entertained by it. Because now, I don't find it very entertaining at all. <laughs> 
Let's pick a different stage. Big Blue, we never really delved into this one. Oh, nice. Can I get a 9? Oh, it's still like a 9. The Game Watch has a lot of weird elements. Like, his key goes straight down in other games. But this one, he kind of floats with it. And be gone, you. Hurt by my own attack. What is this world coming to? It's like I'm becoming Pichu. And I'm talking about by that screw attack, by the way. You know, it's funny, every Pokemon that showed up since I got Selby last time has been opened by not me. Gotcha. But yeah, that's Big Blue. If you land on the road, you just slide it to the edge of the screen and get destroyed. Now, if you're lucky and can jump in time, you can save yourself. But I would not count on it. Let's, yeah, let us use her for a change. Princess on Princess, that would do well. And we have two more stages from the past that we need to show off. First is Yoshi's Island. Okay. I screwed up my direction, but it kind of saved me there. And yes, the AIs are too dumb to stand on the clouds. Which I find to be hilarious. I have no idea what I was doing there. I use using Sheik because too many people use Sheik already. We'll use Zelda for a change of pace. And wow. Never mind, this ain't Smash 64, the AI will stay on the platform. I remember I fought a team of level 9 Yoshis back on Smash 64, and I just jumped on top of that cloud to the upper right the whole time, and they never tried to jump on it. They would just jump off the stage and then jump right back on it. It was hilarious. I know I'm using Sheik again, but I have good reason to. Now I know you did not just perfect shield my I almost said hammer. It's a bat. It is a wooden home run bat. Who else to try? Or retry, I should say. How about Ness? I really don't use him that often because I'm not that good with him. I, I've done well playing as our Fire Emblem heroes. Why don't I play against one? In the last of our past stages of Dreamland. Well, he's showing his worth as, as a level 8 computer. Oh. Why did I think I was Lucas for a second? I thought I was gonna grab one with the rope snake. I am better with Lucas than I am with Ness. But I still don't use him very much because for both of them, even in Smash 4, I'm all for using their recovery moves. Like, I'm just not that good at controlling PK Thunder. I guess that's fitting with the Mother series since it's an inaccurate move to begin with. And Marv is doing way too much damage. No way I was finishing, but at least I got some more percent on him. Okay, was there a delay? I know I grabbed out of that shield. That was a pathetic way to lose my first stock. He was wrecking me all this time, and that's how I lose it. Get 
Oh, that barely missed too. You just look at the size of that blast. And I can push him back. No, he grabbed me right before that the fireball came out. You trying to air dodge my move. Get out of here. I mean, that win, but I should be able to get, get him down to one stock. And you start at AI, you walk into the bombs. Oh, yeah, a small interruption there. But we're good to go. And the reason why it's taking me a month to continue recording is because... Well... Half the people around me are pretty much dying. And other half are taking care of them. I know, it's not nice to say it. It actually makes me very sad. I, mean, I know it's a bit of an exaggeration, but not much. I really wish it wasn't the case. That and with, I'm starting to work strange hours at my job. It's draining both mentally and physically. I mean, I'm recording this 8 at night. I have to go work 12 to 8 starting at midnight. And I have a busy day tomorrow afterwards. So I'm not going to rest very much. And moving on from that, I don't have one the next day. Unfortunately, I'm going to have this whole weekend off. Though I'm going to be busy doing that, and so it's not going to be recording weekend. But it's the things that I plan for in advance. And it's actually going to be something enjoyable for me. Alright, Ice Climbers. Yeah, let's go to six. Five is too easy, eight is too much. Ooh, another hiccup. Let's have them face Ganondorf. Let's see. We pretty much showed off in detail all these stages up here before. So... Let's do Bokeh Flows for once. This is a really fun stage. I mean, it starts off with floats in the sky. They totally got this inspired by the Phil episode of Pokemon anime. Not that I'm complaining, I'm just making an observation. What? I got defeated this early? No, I'm purposely avoiding fighting because. I want to show off all, as much of these flows as I can. And it's not random. They show up in, in a specific order, in a specific manner. And they loop around all the way back to Squirtle. Lots of Pokeballs when I have all items on. And it's sort of like getting all different sorts of terrain, almost. In one single arena. It is one way to build up damage if you just get him against Slowpoke for a few seconds. Not for long, because Slowpoke will move its tail back. Oh no, Ganon has it. Look at all those Porygons. Your episode never did get remade for America. Whooper, Mr. No Arms. Come on. Ooh. Perfect. And he's still going, too. And Horlax. I think we're almost back to the beginning, too. So 
So get over here. Venusaur might be the last or second to last one before we see Squirtle. So I'm gonna try not. No, we're still going. Right, Ganondorf may not have been a good opponent for this stage. Hey, Wooper's still around. That's funny. Oh yeah, Bob Fett is there for like half a second. All right, one thing I've read about is that I've noticed this too. Whenever the Pokeballs are on stage, AI will pursue it directly. Oh, well, I was just about to hit Squirtle up from the bottom again. So I'm not too bummed that we didn't get to see a whole cycle. But you know, it, it's a challenge out there that I saw years ago. Of basically going to sudden death and then having at least one player survive until the very end when all the bobbins come out. I doubt I would survive that. You know, just do like a one minute match. Have no one get any KOs or anything. And then just survive. It's really interesting. Though you have to be really good and maybe very lucky because as far as I know, the Bobons show up at a randomly. They don't have a specific power and they follow. At least as far as I know. The reason I'm choosing to play on four side is because we saw only a little bit during the event matches. Okay, I was stupid there. It's such a cool stage. I don't know what you were doing there, Luigi. <laughs> you got the UFOs, you got the Monotoli building. You have the helicopter that Porky stole. Or it should be Pokey. I mean, we get to see Foresight at night, which officially we never did get to see. Well, so are like Moonside, and hey, right above here is the moon. So if you played Earthbound, there's a lot of really nice details. Plus the top of some of his buildings sort of do have Moonside's color scheme. Definitely a uh, tribute to Earthbound. Now I'll play as Kirby, who a character I never knew was this terrible back in the day. <laughs> Old punch! And I missed. He just stood there and took it. He could have hit me with a lot of moves. This is a lot more acid than I'm used to seeing it in Grinstar. Seeing Kraid was so cool here. Because for me, this game came out just only a couple years after I first played Super Metroid. I know, I got into the series kind of late. So it was really interesting to see this. This. Because I essentially grew up with the Super Nintendo and the N64 side by side before I got my GameCube. So, in a way, I sort of got the best of both worlds. I don't know if I played an F Zero game until the GX demo that came with Mario Kart Double Dash. Didn't need your power. <laughs> All right, we did decently better with Kirby.
Let's show a real test of skill. Myself versus myself on Final Destination. I mean, we've seen plenty of battles on Battlefield, but we haven't seen a true one-on-one -on -one battle on Final Destination. So this is a serious one-on-one -on -one match. Which is why I'm referencing Tank Haichi 3 instead of talking about Smash Brothers. <laughs> Of course, the AI is very flawed. A lot of what I'm doing won't work on it in future installments. But hey, half the game's development was rushed. What can you do? Can we get another legendary? No. While you are still recovering, get this out of here. It's a, a battle between blades. And that doesn't even blame Chronicles 2 blades, just regular blades. Oh, crap. Let's go. Get off of me. Said get off. How has it not landed that second kick? No, he hasn't even done the first KO. Oh, now he did, as soon as I said something. Where are you going? <laughs> Level 9 wasn't that challenging after all. And why do you use Rory? Because, well, he was always my main all throughout Mania's lifetime. Alright, we have Roy. Let's use the top tiers everyone used. There was Fox. There was also Falco, but didn't see much of him. There's Captain Falcon. Where's the other? Oh, the other boy. I know it's Mar. I was gonna put Sheik in here, but that's hard to do with the AI. Not doing Temple. That's gonna go way too long. So let's do a true fight on battlefield with no crazy conditions. After all, this was the birthplace of the Wamo combo. That's why we're just messing around in versus mode because aside from one little thing, I've shown off all the things I want to. Well, I want to say it's one little thing. It's a because last thing I'm doing, it's going to be a pretty long video. But I'll be happy to show it off, though. And now it's not the black hole glitch. I need another human present. And it's very difficult getting people in the same room to record. What if my schedule and all that's going on? But I touched on my personal issues already. I try to keep this out of my videos and just focus on the gameplay. Whoa, Falcon, you came out of nowhere. I still have the parasol, don't I? And it failed to save me. Alright, Marf, we're in this club together. Oh no, look at that fox. Oh, he's got too many lives. He needs to be one of us. If only everyone else was not rolling into my smash attack. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, on a fight like this, you gave me the broken hammer. 
That's so wrong, man. That's so wrong. Okay, I don't know whose move hit me, but look. I completely lost sight of where I was. Since since all the casuals hate Fox, let's let Falcon win this fight. Let's go, Captain. Level 9, but they're all using their jabs. Use some follow up moves. Of course, Fox is dominating. Who would have thought that? What was that? Oh, dancing in the air there? Oh, that was a fun fight. And anyway, I believe that's going to be all for this time. It's been Jarius Gaming, and when we come back to Melee, we're going to show off just a little bit more. But until that time comes, I'll see you then. Goodbye, everyone. Man, that was a terrible outro. <laughs>